for you. If a Cochrane review is in any slightest doubt whether an intervention is worthwhile, and I'm currently writing a new book about vaccines, I have just revised the whole chapter about influenza. That was terribly interesting. The Cochrane reviews about the influenza vaccine are pretty wishy-washy. And in Denmark, we hardly use the vaccine at all, only in the elderly, because this is an official recommendation. Children, zero. None of them get it. In the US, half of them. I've just looked up the numbers today, this morning. So if Cochrane reviews are somewhat doubtful, you can conclude, I don't need to do this, because there is so much bias already. So if, if not even a Cochrane review has a clear stance of something, then you don't need to do it. That, that's just a rule of thumb. So no influenza vaccinations for me or my wife or our children. Not a, no, 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 no. Just to give you one example, the, the CDC is absolutely crazy about influenza vaccinations. It's deeply untrustworthy what the CDC writes about flu shots. I have gone through a lot of it. Yeah, I hope it responded to your... There are no easy solutions, but the other advice I have to you, use drugs as little as possible. It's rarely necessary. And since it is our third leading cause of death, you should use drugs very sparingly. Teach people to eat well and exercise and have a good life. Don't worry about decaffeinated coffee. Coffee is very healthy. It has been so... It, um, it, 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 it has been attacked by so many case control studies that usually find everything is harmful. And coffee has survived everything. So it must be very healthy. Just enjoy your coffee. <clears throat> yeah. Final questions? All right, thanks, Doc. Thank you.